Hey guys, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Mike, and welcome to the review of the Iron Man Hall of Armor. We have set number 76125. Inside the box, we'll find 524 pieces. The pricing right now is 55 pounds the UK and 60 dollars and euro, respectively. This seems to be one of the more popular sets from the Avengers Endgame wave of sets. It's been selling out like crazy as far as I know. But funny thing is that this set entirely more depicts the events or the locations uh, seen in the Iron Man 3 movie, which is an older movie. Um, well, that we have some sort of a comeback to that movie with uh, all the suits and the look of the actual Hall of Armor. That being said, we have six figs with excellent versions of Iron Man, the first ever seen Mark I included, also two Outriders from the previous Avengers says they do not differ at all, and an interesting addition of the Mark 38 Igor uh, armor, the heavy lift one, that we're gonna take a look into as well. Alright, let's uh, get the minifigures on our stand and uh, take a closer look. Starting off with the coolest one by far, the Mark I, for the first time to appear in LEGO form, the detailing is absolutely excellent. Might be the most uh, torso and leg detailed figure out there right now, maybe comparably to that uh, Silver Centurion minifigure from the Polybag. But this one shows a lot of the things that we have seen in the first Iron Man. First of all, we have Stark Industries scrap metal in the back. You can see some parts of the logo that he, uh, the scrap metal that he used in captivity to assemble the first ever Iron Man armor. It really shows how much effort they put into it to get this minifigure right. Really cool, um, there is a lot of silver and darker silver elements to, to make some contrast on the armor. You can see that I'm rotating the minifigure around, it does shine a bit in some places, which adds that extra cool effect. So for that minifigure alone, excellent set to pick up. Uh, I'm really happy that they added him. Was waiting a long time, but here he is. And the uh, funny thing is that I th think he does get a jetpack from the first version. There we go, so we actually can add a jetpack, which is an extra little touch, but makes this minifigure even so much better. Excellent fig and uh, happy to start uh, to, to have him in the set. Here is the Mark 41, or the Bones Iron Man armor. Uh, I think that was the last one to finish the Iron Legion. Mark 41 was the last one to be there. And it's quite unique one in black with golden elements to it. Also the first time appearance, uh, exclusive minifigure to this set. Just a disclaimer, those minifigures have clear heads under the masks. Here is uh, how it looks like. Of course, you do get the Iron Stark head in one of the minifigures, the Mark uh, 50, which is uh, this one, the same minifigure as appeared in the um, Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown set from last year from the Avengers Infinity War. So a second time we have this minifigure in a set. And the last of the Iron Man's is the Mark 5. Also a new printing, entirely exclusive minifigure with the silver mask for his helmet, silver detailing all around with some dark gray or dark silver gray elements. Overall, very decent um, print, and it marks for the third exclusive minifigure in the set, which um, marks three armors of uh, Iron Man to just join our collection. Awesome. Also, you receive uh, two of these guys in this set. They have appeared in six sets total, so nothing exclusive here. Another way to get your uh, Outriders. And of course, by all measures, we should include this guy as a collectible element of this set. This is the Mark 38 Igor, heavy lifting armor, the biggest armor that Iron Man has ever manufactured or designed. This one appears in the mentioned Iron 3 movie as also part of the Iron Legion. This is actually, you can open it up and put the Iron Man uh, Tony Stark minifigure inside if you wish. So it's a pretty simple build. Uh, the actual armor from the movie is pretty complex. It does have some spine elements if you look at the movie, um, allowing you to, to make this guy a heavy lifter, lifting a lot of things. I think it saves the oil rig from that movie. I don't really remember the plot point, but I think it was there. So there you go. We should actually include him as sort of a minifigure of Iron Man because he does count as an armor. So excellent addition to the set actually just adds a little, little bit of a touch to the set to uh, make it even more attractive for uh, Marvel fans. He does have some stickers on the side. Nice build for the arms, uh, simple use of joints to make him as possible as possible. And I was surprised to have him, but I do, I do appreciate that I am happy that we can kind of count him like an exclusive Iron Man armor, which is awesome. Now onto the set itself. Maybe if let's clear off the bad things first. I think it's a bit of a repetitive build. 
And that's something that really a bit threw me off from really building this set in the first place, uh, lined up with the other Avenger sets. Uh, many people may choose the Quinjet first or the Compound Battle, which has a bit of a disappointing set. But anyway, I think this was the last one for me to consider building um, because it's a lot of repetitive work. You just those segments you build, they don't vary as much. Uh, there is a reason behind it. I mean, you can customize the set the way you want, but still uh, you got to remember that many pages in the manual will say like times four or times five. So you have to approach the set with that in mind. And if that's OK with you, the rest of the set is pretty pretty darn good. I gotta say, the selection of minifigures, just the Iron Man armors alone, excellent choice, really happy with the additions. Outriders uh, could have maybe made some extra effort to add a bit of a variety to this and maybe add, add some extra villains or something, but hey, we still get a bunch of armors. The set also comes with an uh, extinguisher uh, bot, uh, also two pieces of fire. That is something that really connects to that Iron Man 3 movie when his Iron Man um, Hall of Armor is destroyed in his Malibu mansion, so that is uh, actually that fire scene uh, kind of shown in this set. And the funny thing is, the best thing about this set by far is that it's entirely modular. So you can swap around, move around, change shapes of the set. Maybe let me just show you how this works in practice. So right now we have this half, half circle, half dome build right now. So the main assembly point of, uh, of the base is actually right in the middle. So this actually rotates and you can have some robotic arms assembling the Iron Man's um, suit on him. No problems like that. It's, it's just like in the movies. This thing actually moves around. Oh, I just knocked off this, this Outrider. No, no problems. You can see I just snapped it off. It does snap off easily. So you gotta be careful. I did drop this set once, once I was transporting this to the Lightroom. So be careful. I tested this for you. Anyhow, you can move it around so you can have this look or you can entirely swap things around and have a more enclosed space with the connection point right there for another console. That is basically how it's gonna look like. So just get this console into the axle joint connector and there you go. You got yourself an entirely different armor with a rotating um, seat for Iron Man to check out all his fancy suits. And as we are on this side of the set, we can certainly appreciate some of the stickers that were added to the um, transparent glass displays and the HUDs on the, on the console. So maybe the small console first. You guys can see there is the system error intruder detecting the intrusion to his uh, base. There is the, this one's funny. This is the blocked caller. Um, I think that's Agent Coulson from The Shield calling Iron Man. They did not really have the best relationship out there. Some extra elements for the uh, system control, like the base control and other ones as we see uh, in, the, in the movie. And this one even says Jarvis. Yeah, the AI that is controlling Iron Man's um, crib basically there are more stickers on the back of the hall of armor element so let's take a look at those out of the nine windows in total you got stickers for three of them so maybe let's start with this one this is the mark 5 the suitcase armor i should have mentioned that that is the first armor that iron man is able to carry him with him at any point in time you can see this one i think in iron man 2 when he opens the suitcase and suits up in case of emergency so that was the mark 5 it's in the set the silver one also that's that's the mark 25 striker and i don't think that's a that's an armor we ever have seen in lego that's the one with engineering arms to like build stuff heavy engineering armor as far as i remember i don't think we've seen this one in lego so maybe that is a hint to, to for this to appear in a future lego set mark 25 striker and nothing 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 there is the last one house party protocol status um, standby. Yeah, so that's the actual code or, or order that Iron Man uh, issues to Jarvis to execute during the attack of, um, of his Malibu mansion. And that activates all like 35 uh, Iron Man armors from the Iron Legion, along with the Mark 38, the big one that we have in this set. So that is a pretty cool Easter egg, definitely connection to the movies. And that is why this set is so much more connected to the um, standalone Iron Man movies than anything else. The wider, the uh, front side of the set, as I call it, has also some extra things. There is the candy machine along with the uh, must have red mug in there. I think there is a rack also with some um, thunder elements. And I think there is a fire extinguisher gun or some sort of a weaponry maybe for the Mark 38. So that's a small stand there. Armors, 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 the jetpack place that you can place the Mark 1 jetpack 
right there extra armors armors some holder for the wrench and extra tools maybe that small fire extinguisher that the bot uh, the fire bot is holding and at the very end there is also a holder for uh, tony stark's hair because you do get the hair mold for him in this set and you can just um, well have him without the helmet as you wish so yeah that being said i think we covered everything in this set so far with some good opinions on this one because I do like this one. I completely forgot to mention that the set also offers you a radar dish as a module so you can place it anywhere you want in the set. Just a simple build like that. And I think that if you look at the set from the grand perspective, you have what I would call the ultimate Iron Man's fan set. It has everything you need to have if you want to display, if you want to just have one set to display your Iron Man affixation, if that's your favorite superhero, this set is for you. There's places for more armors than the ones included in the set. You can remove the, the candy machine, you can remove some of the equipment and place up to nine armors in this one if you please. This is an excellent value, I would say. Oh, there's a Nabu fighter in the back <laughs> from the other video. But hey, don't, don't mind that. Just look at the set and I think I can honestly recommend it. Also, the price is solid for the amount of things you get. 60 bucks It's a bit over um, 10 cents per piece ratio, but having three exclusive minifigures plus a buildable armor and overall a decent value for that set is, is something I would not mind paying for. Now you also see you can even customize the set in more ways than, you, than the box really shows you. It has full-on modularity to it so there is an extra value and with that being said i can just summarize this review in in confirming that this is remarkably good set and not not a surprise that it is one of the most popular ones given the price and what it offers in the current avengers endgames uh, wave endgame wave even though it's more of a Iron Man 3 set, I would call it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. The comment section is open below. This is the Iron Man Hall of Armor review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always leave a like and subscribe below uh, for new videos from us. And also the bell button serves as a notification button. So click that one if you want to know about our new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was Mike and I'll see you next time on Break Vault. Hey, thanks for watching this video. As always, you can leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel, you can head over to our web store at www.brickvault.toys. You can find awesome models there. All these guys that I have on the table are available in the forms of instructions and parts lists. Every purchase you make supports our channel and also the designers that are working with us on those uh, amazing models. So consider doing that. Thanks so much. And it was Mike. I'll see you again on Brick Vault.